In this video, we will take a look at My Tasks. The My Tasks area in Team Headquarters helps the service agent manage project tasks that are assigned to them, communicate with customers, team members, and the project manager, and helps you to capture time against tasks. Tasks are created by project managers in another area of the system called Projects. Where tasks are assigned to an individual, they will find these tasks in the My Tasks area. The My Task grid can contain all of the tasks that are in projects that you are assigned or rostered to, or you can filter it to just your own tasks. You can set your default filter by clicking on the checkbox. Using these task filters, the service agent can also isolate tasks in any way they would actually like to use them. For example, you can use the filtering that is associated with most of the columns to create a Boolean expression on in multiple columns if you like, and then using the personalize button, save that with a name, and then that will then show up as your new filter, which you can set as a default. Get rid of the filter by clicking on the X. We'll just use our My Open Tasks filter and we'll set that as My Default. You can open up tasks by clicking on either the ID number or on the name. Each task, once opened, opens itself in a tab. So you can go back and forth between your task list and your individual tabs. Let's open up a couple of tasks. As you can see each one has its own tab and as we highlight each one it'll tell you what the tab, the task is actually, um, the description of it is. You can leave tasks open and they will automatically start clocking time against them after five minutes. When the task is opened the current time is stored. And when the save button is clicked, the start time is compared to the save time. The difference between the two times is rounded to the nearest five minutes. We can learn everything there is to know about a task in just a few clicks. At the bottom of the update history uh, section, we see the history area by, by clicking on the downward chevron. And we can scroll down and we can see what has occurred on this task. Click on the Task Details tab to get the metrics, initial description, key dates, and categorization of the task. Click on the roster to see if there are other people associated with this task that you'll be working with. Click on the Predecessors tab to see if there is a task that must be completed prior to you starting this one. Click on the Files tab to a review and identify any files that are associated with this task. And click on the Time Tracking tab to see all of the time entries that have been made against this task in the past. Let's take a look at the Update History function. Using video 4 my tasks, we'll update the comment. We'll capture an hour of time against this, and we'll mark it as 50% complete. We'll also upload a file that will be available to all the other rostered individuals and the project manager. And we'll notify other members of the roster, Josephine Francie, who is our project manager, and we'll notify her of this particular update. We'll save these changes, and we're done. 
Changing the roster, the dates, categorizations, or descriptions of the task are reserved for the project manager and are done through the projects area of the system. That'll be another video. And for now, that's it for my tasks. Our next video will be documents. Thank you.